everyone, my name is Orin and welcome back to Inside Out. Today I'm going to read this book called The Kangaroo and the Slot that I wrote and my mom helped me to make the pictures. So let's read it. The Kangaroo and the Slot Author Orin Saha Illustrator Shamila Bose This book is dedicated to all of my friends. Once upon a time, there was a very happy kangaroo and a very slow slot. They wanted to be friends, but the slot was too slow and the kangaroo was too jumpy. When they went to school together, the teacher, Mrs. Trainer, said, the entire class that today we are going to read this book called Treat Others the Same Way as You Do. When they read this story, they both noticed that if others are different from you, they should still be your friends. After school, when everyone went home, Slot and Kangaroo asked their parents if they could have a play date together. And guess what they said? They said yes. Kangaroo and the slot were so happy. And the parents said that right after school they could go outside in the forest for their play date. First they went fishing. Then they went to play hide and seek. Next they played who can jump the highest and last but not least they played who can walk the slowest. Kangaroo won who can jump the highest and slot won who can walk the slowest. Next day at school was a fine day. After school, Kangaroo and the slot went outside to play in the fo forest. They played, played, and played for some more time. Then a hungry bear showed up right behind them. Kangaroo grabbed Slot and jumped across the forest and past many trees. When the bears stopped chasing them, they noticed that they were lost in the deep forest. They were trying to remember which way th they came from, but they could not remember. After many hours, it became night time and they were super hungry. Kangaroo said that we should split up and find our way home. They split up. And guess what? They were again lost. Plus, their friend was not there with them this time. They were, they were both very scared. Their mom and dad called the police and told our kids are not coming back from their play date. The police went in the forest and looked for the slot and the kangaroo. Let's see, why did the kangaroo make a campfire? Meanwhile, the kangaroo remembered what he had learned in the, in the school fire drill. If you are lost, then you should make a campfire so people can find you. So guess what she did? She grabbed some logs and pushed some leaves away from the log. Then she rubbed two logs together to create a fire. Then she got a bright campfire. The kangaroo waited, waited, and waited for a little bit more. Then the kangaroo heard something in the sky. Guess what it was? It was the police helicopter. Kangaroo was so happy that the police had found her, but she was not fully happy as they still don't not find slot so they kept searching the slot the slot did the same thing as the kangaroo he made a campfire just like the kangaroo the police almost searched the entire forest until they saw a cloud of smoke it was a campfire the helicopter came down to the ground to pick up the slot back up. After both returned home, 
They became best friends and lived happily ever after. The end. About the otter. That's me, Aryan Saha. Hi, I am Aryan Saha and I am 8 years old. I love to write detailed stories. I have a dog named Cooper and I love him so much. This is my first story and my mom helped me create an ebook with this story. I hope you like my book. Hey, that's me and Cooper during Christmas. Bye bye. I hope you liked my story and if you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel Inside Out. Inside Out, signing off.